Welcome. I'm here working on my 1997 Land Cruiser, and in a previous video I set up the RS3000 security system with the key fob. So if I hit this, it will lock the doors. If I hit it again, it will unlock. But it's supposed to make a chirp sound, but it's not working. So I'm suspecting that maybe the, the buzzer isn't working. And that's this little red thing here. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to cut that off and take it down and hook it up to a 12 volt battery and see if it makes a sound. Okay, so it's this one right here that I cut. It's behind the uh, black and red. You won't have these black and red on yours unless you put them there. Those aren't factory. Uh, interestingly, when I cut that, the doors locked or unlocked? I'm not sure. Um, but here's the alarm. I'm going to go, and now it did again. That's weird. It auto-locked. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to go test this and see if it works. Okay, so I'm down in my shop now, and I have the, the old alarm, and I have a new one, a replacement. And the new one is the uh, Floyd Bell M-80W, and I got this on Amazon. I'll put a link to this on Amazon. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'll test this out. I'll hook this up to positive, this uh, test battery. I'll hook it up to negative. We have nothing. So I'll take the new one. I'm going to throw a piece of tape on here to mute it a little bit. And I'll put positive on there, and I'll do negative here. There we go. So I've confirmed that the, the old alarm is not working and the new one is working, so now we'll go test it on the vehicle. Okay, so I'm at the vehicle now. I'm going to take this uh, alarm, and I'm going to put the, my little alligator clips on it. And I'm going to hook the red up to the red wire. I don't know if it'll even show up on camera. This looks black, but it's just uh, heat shrink tubing. There's red down there lower. And I'll hook this up here. Okay. So now I'm going to press the key fob. And that locked it. That unlocked it. And this isn't making noise, but we need to program it. So in order to program it, I'm going to be using my ignition, and I'll be looking at this little light here. I'm going to take my key, I'm going to turn it to on, and then I'm going to hold down both buttons for two seconds, and that will turn this light on, and within 30 seconds I need to press and release the bottom button so the chain's hanging low. I need to press the button button twice, so I'll do hold down, I'll release, I'll hold it down again, and I'll release, and it beeped uh, once the first time, twice the second time, then I need to turn it to lock. So that's done. Now if I lock the car, it beeps. If I unlock the car, it beeps twice. So I'll go outside the vehicle and I'll do that also. Hopefully you can hear it here. I'll lock it and I'll unlock it. There we go. So that's gonna be all for this video. Um, I showed how to, you know, I ordered this, replaced it, and then off camera after this video, I'll just solder all this together or crimp it. I'll probably solder it. Uh, it's a little cold today. I may wait till a little bit warmer day, but um, then it should just work. I may need to reprogram it again if I disconnect it though, um, because I did that one other time and it seemed like I had to reprogram it. But uh, that's all for this video. If you have any questions, and that was the auto lock, I think. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.